A lift malfunction at an area ski resort leads to two people being sent to the hospital. Nick Farrell was there and he has this report. Timberline officials say around 9 a.m. Saturday morning, this ski lift called Thunderstruck malfunctioned with about 200 people on board. Only nine of them sustained injuries, and because of a quick response by ski patrollers and area first responders, resort officials say everyone was taken to safety quickly. We train on this every year, do some planning, I and mean, we, we split up. We've got tires marked where we do all our evac. We're pretty proud of the fact we can get everybody off in less than two hours. It's a pretty good time. Of the nine people injured in the accident, two were hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. First responders treated and released the other seven at the scene. A spokeswoman says each of Timberline's three ski lifts undergoes a daily test before the resort opens. Saturday morning, Thunderstruck passed that test. We have experienced mechanics, over 20 years experience. Uh, so they do a check um, every morning. Then we have the ski patrol. They actually ride the lift up and, and do a visual check as well. But just hours after that daily test, the lift failed, resulting in the worst ski lift failure in the resort's history. It isn't clear what caused the lift to malfunction, but Curran says engineers will try to determine that Sunday morning. All we can do is, is shut everything down and leave it as is um, for them to come in and, and determine what actually went wrong. Curran says the lift was built about 30 years ago, but by ski standards, she doesn't consider it. It old. There are lifts that have been around at other ski resorts, not ours, um, since the 60s. As long as they're maintained properly, then they're good to go. Resort officials say this lift will remain closed indefinitely. They kept some slopes open later than usual Saturday to accommodate skiers. In Tucker County, Nick Farrell, 12 News. Sheriff deputies.